Hey everyone, as you guessed it, we are back with another episode of The Zone where you get everything, as I like to say, under the sun that involves you. We love everything that has to do with the youth. So if you guys have events happening and you want us to cover, please do give us a call and we'll run to you because we love that. So I didn't get a new co-host, Justicia is still around, but today in studio with me, I have a beautiful, a phenomenal, I don't even have the words to describe this lady next to me, guys, because she's just doing the most. So I have Bertha Tobias. So Bertha, you might know her. Uh, she's an ambassador at the hashtag Be Free Movement, right? Yes. That is under the, the office of the First Lady. She is also, I just have to get the accolades right, guys. So I'll be kind of reading. She was also the head girl of her uh, high school, which is Delta. Woo! Delta represent. Yes. So, <laughs> and also she is the founder of a program called Out on the grow i almost said outgrow on the grow so she is really doing the most and yeah i without any further ado i'll ple i'll let her explain everything that she's doing currently and who she is she'll introduce herself bertha what's up girl hi lovey yeah so <laughs> please tell us about yourself who are you what are you doing what are you not doing so i my name is bertha mm -hmm. uh, i come from i was born in Ongwe diva hey. uh, right now actually i'm in a really weird space right now because um, I study in China, mm. uh, but we're back here because Corona. So mm. our school basically told us go back home and prepare for your final exams at home. Sure. So right now, what is preoccupying my mind is preparing for my final exams and then advancing on the grow and looking for sponsors. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Other than that, honestly, my life is very uneventful. <laughs> it's very uneventful right now, contrary to what might it, what what it might seem like on paper. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, that's who I am. I okay. stay with my dad. Nothing special. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That is so kind of special. Shout out to all the 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 dads taking taking the lead and raising yes. their kids. Okay, so Bertha, tell us a bit about your experiences in China. Um, which college are you currently attending? I think we had some of your colleagues in last week. They're from oh. the UWCs, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So tell us a bit about your, your the cultural differences there. What have you experienced um, in a nutshell? Um, so honestly, I think it's been the most rewarding and most fulfilling experience of my life. Mm. At first, it was incredibly difficult to go because the academic year begins in August, right? Mm. And my final exams... NSSC exams begin in September. So I had to make this tough decision to be like, do I go, do I not? I mean, in the end, obviously I went. And it's, it's honestly like if I could go back in time, I'd do it all over again. Mm -hmm. um, because you get to a space where you realize that you're genuinely just doing it for yourself. Mm -hmm. And you also learn how to not explain yourself to people. Because there's obviously the constant, oh, so did you feel grade 12? And it's so like, you failed, no, that's why you left. Exactly. Oh, you feel grade 12. And it's like, mm -hmm. no, I did not feel grade 12. Uh, but it's, I don't, it was, it's incredibly rewarding it is fulfilling and with China specifically um, it's it's very <laughs> it's, it's dramatically different from what I'm used to mm. so just Asia as a whole and then China specifically one there's a lot of people obviously mm -hmm. and then two it moves so fast which obviously has been amazing for like helping build work ethic because you're constantly surrounded by people who work so hard and work so fast mm. and then you go there thinking yo I thought I worked hard but this, but this is something this else is on another level. different world mm. so culturally and socially I've learned a lot that I've, I've I mean there's stuff that I've picked up that I've integrated into my personality but there's also stuff that's been exposed about you know just my own biases towards mm. you know like certain yeah. whole nations of people that have obviously had to be eliminated but yeah i i love it like i wouldn't do it again but like <laughs> but like it was necessary okay yeah. see guys this is the advantage of having a public speaker as a guest i don't have to say anything you, you can literally just listen <laughs> to her talk the whole day okay so um tell us a bit about on the grow what is it about what are some of your aims and goals with this program and what do you see happening in the next say two years so on the grow right um it is a youth professional development training initiative mm -hmm. so right now we're obviously still in our early stages um what we what we do is we focus on five areas it's leadership public speaking interview skills opportunity identification and network building so we we had two about 200 applications we selected only 70 because capacity and resources mm -hmm. um and on the grow is going to have training sessions 
every Saturday of June up until the first Saturday of July from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. Mm -hmm. So like the first half of our sessions would be theory and like practice and, you know, skits and collaborative discussions. And then the second part would have our industry experts coming in mm -hmm. and giving us presentations on the, the five areas with Q&A's at the end. Um, so what we see for it in the two years, honestly, is the nature of what the growers are as establishing it is, is so that it, it plays into how geographically unstable I am mm -hmm. so that a lot of the work can be theoretical and paperwork and sending emails and being like, hey, please give us sponsorships. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of it is on the ground, which is just the June to July, um, for which I get to be here every year because that's now when my big holiday is. And then we So move. you don't rest. I mean, so you're already I mean, planning. Okay, so when I go home, this is what I'm going to occupy myself with and then I just <laughs> go straight back. Yeah, that's the thing. It's so weird, right? Because how can you just rest in June? Like, June is like the peak of the year yeah, where everybody's yeah, yeah. working. Okay. So you come home, then you also just create something for yourself to do. Sure, we are on different levels. That and moment, I just want to rest. I want to take my mid-year break. Uh, I'm done. <laughs> yeah, okay. So also, tell us a bit about um, you going in August. Where are you going? I already oh know. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so where are you going um, in August? So first of all, you're like, I think I'm going to cry. Um... So I'm going to Claremont McKenna College. Mm -hmm. um, it is essentially, it's part of Claremont McKenna University um, in the United States, in California. Um, and I wouldn't have, like, honestly, I would not have been able to go had it not been for going to a UWC. And that's why I say, if I could go back in time, I'd do it all over again mm -hmm. because it's opened up a world of opportunities for me. Sure. Um, yeah, so at the UWCs, we do the IB. Um, maybe some of my my Oh, yes, yeah. I've told you last year. So we do the IB and then the IB because of, of how rigorous it is, it gets you access into virtually any university. Mm. So the whole time I was in grade 12 and you know our counselors are giving us these things and we're just like, oh, but I, but I want to go out the country. So this is the path. So I'm going to Claremont McKenna. Um, it has a curricular emphasis on international relations, government, economics, finance, so just stuff that I like. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to do a double major in international relations and public policy with a sequence in leadership in women's and gender studies. So I'm very excited about that. That's I like am so excited for you because Thank you. It, the way you speak about it also, it's not, it's not a drag for you. It's literally like, this is a dream. And, and just to be exposed to a whole other world, which is not necessarily probably the experiences that you have had in Asia. But as we spoke about earlier, it's like you're, this is a whole yeah. other dynamic for you. So yeah, kudos to her. This is my girl Bertha, guys. So <laughs> please, we're not going to spill the beans any further. So make sure that you get a copy of today's zone so that you make sure you know everything there is to know about Bertha to be So yeah, a few videos that she made for us. So please do enjoy. We are actually live in the United World College Changshu, right here in China. Now, On The Grow is an initiative that is dedicated to empowering young Namibian people who are ready to take control of their professional destinies. We will be giving free sessions on public speaking, leadership, interview skills, opportunity identification, and network building to Namibian people in June of 2020. All you have to do is apply using the link on our Instagram page bio. Angles. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Wait, wait, wait. Welcome, welcome back. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. So, today we have been, been asking. About <laughs> <laughs> well, yes. we both, our alpha people are like, okay. yes, my channel. Okay, do. What have the people been asking about us? They actually haven't been. But I think that's on everyone's mind. Like, what? How do you guys maintain such an awesome friendship? How do you? Um, <laughs> I think they were also wondering, like, how do you guys just kill it, like, in life? In life, you know. Now you the it? rule number one is, um, magician respect. never reveals all their secrets. <laughs> so, <laughs> respect, um, love, uh, understanding. Are you not so precious? And you can zoom in, it's like psyched again, you thought. <laughs> the camera is actually here, so we should be looking at others who look like oh. skilled. What's wrong with skill? Ask somebody whose legs are short. <laughs> <But he's> just... <laughs> yeah, this is the girl whose shoulders <laughs> and your teeth. <gasps> look at her shoulders. <laughs> uh -uh. Can you guys see? <laughs> look at her forehead. <laughs> Can you guys yeah but not see okay but yeah okay. yeah um let's okay let's now start over again but like uh, uh okay the video no okay 
It's like strong. Wait, let me try it like this. That also looks nice. Homes, your face looks so there you have it that's everything that you not everything but most of the things you need to know about bertha she's fun and she has a sassy side so yeah and as i told you guys justicia didn't leave us she's back i don't know how I that happened so back. fast so yeah she's <laughs> back the real justicia please stand up <laughs> okay. so we're gonna continue with our the zone supplements so on our page three we had standard bank launching its um school buy a brick school campaign and the campaign officially started yesterday and it will end in may with the sale of footprint socks so the school that sells the most amount of socks will receive an amount of twenty thousand and the girl that receive the girl and the boy that get the most sales at the school will, will each get five thousand mm -hmm. and then again if they have another participate any of the participating schools from this campaign the Lena that also has the most sales also receives receives another five thousand. Just uh, let me just mention a fun fact about footprints. Yes. Uh, the the child was actually chosen. Uh, the the candidate who gave the name footprints was actually chosen at our media camp, guys. So you see, yeah. this is where the dreams live. We so don't sell you dreams; it lives here. <laughs> Her name is Lelani Lowe and she's from MK Herza High School in Rebot. And she said she chose the name Footprint because it by buying the socks, you actually leave a footprint in someone's life and you actually make a difference for them to have better living conditions. Oh, that's so sweet. that's so sweet. Yeah. And then speaking of education, we are moving over to tertiary level this time. Sanlam recently um, awarded students with bursaries and internship and you can't believe it, over 1,700 students applied for the internship. Sure. Which is, which m this just shows that learn students are hungry to, mm -hmm. for experience and to graduate because you can't graduate if you haven't done an internship at most of the local institutions in, mm. in Namibia. And over um, one, 110 students applied for the bursary. So only 15 students were lucky to get this position. Wow for the internship in bazaris so here's a video of standard bank and of sunlam during their events last week good afternoon i'm margaret mango head of marketing communication and csi for standard bank uh, one of the main champions passionate champions for the biobrick initiative for namibia so biobrick is about in in a, one objective we create initiatives to raise funds to build to raise funds to build pe uh, houses for people who live in checks. So we've actually extended this initiative to involve schools in it, learners from schools. So what a school should do, they identify champions from the schools who will be championing this initiative. They will get envelopes and samples of socks, food, the Biobrick Footprint Socks it's called. And then they're going to raise money through by selling socks to the nation. It could be the learners at the schools. It could be the neighbors in the streets. It could be friends and families. It doesn't have, it's not necessarily just socks for learners. There's also adult socks that they need to do. So they can go out there, spread the word about Biobrick and what Biobrick is about and, and then raise the money. So the school that raised the most money, they walk away with a 20,000 for the development fund of that particular school. Champions that has been identified to champion this through the schools, each could work away with a $5,000 male and female and then the individual from any school who raised actually the most nationally also walks away with a five thousand dollars so we're very excited to launch this biobrick footprint socks why footprint uh, the name actually initiated from one of the learners where who participated at the my zone media camp very creative it was very creative ideas but she came up with this name her name is lalani low and we're really grateful uh, we told her that we will use the name so buy a big footprint footprint is actually because you're gonna by buying socks and putting it on your feet you actually when you walk away you leave footprints behind so meaning if you buy a socks you actually leave a footprint in a family's house by contributing or buying a sock so you will be impactful to a family because you bought this well, hashtag more than a bank my name is Josefina Andalala I'm a head girl at Faith Primary School um, what I picked up is that um, for example uh, your fellow mates um, they didn't come with food at least try to, if you come if you, maybe you came with food try to break for them some um, some, uh, some learners don't know how to, re to read so try to help them in any way that you need to help them thank you 
So, good morning. My name is Jelume Petru, so I'm a, I'm, a head, I'm a head by the Faith Primary School. So, I want to, I just want to repeat a little bit about my, my fellow partner here who had said. So, when a person, you don't have something, if a person does not have something, you may try to produce for that person. You can pray for them if they, if they need help of, sometimes they need help to do their homeworks, you can help them. So, try to, and you can, you can pray for them. Thank you. People should help others get houses because not everybody grew up in a good condition. Okay. Of higher learning, it is a requirement for students to complete internship before they are eligible for graduation. It was a daunting task when this was made compulsory for university students to undergo a certain number of hours before graduation as a requirement for them to qualify for their degrees. Placing all the students that need internship was a mammoth task and therefore we are very very happy for initiatives such as this. The government has initiated programs to address the various challenges faced by the education sector and especially by our students but we also know, acknowledge that we cannot do it alone that is as government. We urgently need the support from all players within the sector of education but also indeed beyond, if we are to make a difference. Director of Ceremonies, I've also been reliably informed that Sunlam's intervention in the education sector is not limited to just these bursaries and internships. There is also the Sunlam Blue Ladder Schools Project, where Sunlam has committed funds for teacher capacity building, school furniture, hostels, mattresses, and many others. They say the quality of any country's education system is as good as the quality of its teachers. I'm happy that in your menu of things to fund, you have included the teacher education. My name is Erastus Zeppi. I'm currently majoring in um, finance management. So I'll be basically placed in the finance department. Um, at the end of this internship, I'll basically look forward to getting the experience in preparing the major books and getting the experience of how companies run and solve their books because it's very different compared to the books that we compare uh, that we prepare in um, at, at the university. Yeah. <laughs> Magdalena Kashanu, a third year computer science student at the University of Namibia. Um, I appreciate this opportunity from Sandlam to help fund for my studies because uh, it was a struggle trying to find for my studies. Um, this year I'm hoping to study harder, um, attend all my classes, do everything differently in order to get better grades than I got last year. As much as my grades were good, I want to improve my grades and do better so that they are able to pay for me again next year. Um, my advice to students who want to get bursaries is to study hard make sure they are good like their grades are really really good because it's going to be a couple of people they are going to compete again so make sure your grades are good you're good to go there you have it ladies and gentlemen from sun from sunlam students that are ready to sow their seeds into their professional career paths mm. and from standard bank do make sure to follow their page in order to get regular updates on the school campaign mm -hmm. And now we have a wonderful picture on page four. The National Students Organization, NANSO, has its campaign, the Fix My Home campaign. Now this campaign helps tertiary inst inst students from local st tertiary institutions to, to have a better living, to live in better living conditions. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they have identified um, 10 students currently and Bertha um, Ileka is one of the beneficiaries. So this um, initiative actually came when Bertha posted a tweet on her Twitter account mm -hmm. asking for help where she used her tuition money, her refund money from Nasraf to construct a living house for her and her family, but the constructors did not do a great job. Mm -hmm. So she tweeted and then Nanso came on board and they decided to launch this campaign to just help out wow. students. Yeah. So um, the campaign will roll out all over the country, mm -hmm. but then they will mostly visit informal settlements like in Ventuk, like um, Wakuriangava and Horiahab. 
Okay. So there you have it. In order to support Nanso's um, Fix My Home campaign, you can donate any materials so that they can help out students out there who seek for better living environments and studying environments as well. Wow. So I'll give over to Elizabeth Amazing. to talk about our varsity corner. All right, so on page five, we usually do the varsity corner. So on page five for today, we have Hannes van Weyck from the Northwest University, NWU. So check out everything you probably want to know about NWU or uh, gladly visit their website and check out what Hannes has to say um, on page five. Yeah, and then on page eight, we're going to move straight along to uh, the news that we always get from the Irongo region. So please do make sure that you check out the community news that they've sent us and they've also sent us a few videos. So after these videos, make sure that you grab lunch and chill. And yes, make sure that you keep it locked on my zone's Facebook page and holla at us if you always need anything because we love you guys so much and want to do everything <laughs> for you. <laughs> From our class and from me, I want to tell you that we love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we love you. Me too. <laughs> principle what those good words and praise what have given me but I know myself that uh, yes I had the qualification I had my teaching qualifications and then went there for my degree and so on but my philosophy is always that I can have my degree I can have everything but I'm working with people those people they you make me what I am today no way to work as he said Retirement doesn't mean you are tired. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so thank you once again and may God bless you all. Bless the Rongo region, bless KSS and our community. That's all. And then uh, please, one thing what I also told that let's love what we are doing. I do believe that I live and love education. And KSS was my second home. So let love and have faith in what God wants. And I think the way forward is definitely clear and promising. So all the blessing to you and I love the people. And God bless. Yes, and there you have it. That is our news from the Rongo region. Mm -hmm. So this weekend was a blast. We had the rugby sevens, the Capricorn rugby sevens that took place at Ventuk Gymnasium mm -hmm. and we had teams from Germany, South Africa, oh. Zimbabwe, and local schools taking part in the rugby tourney. So here's a few highlights of how the rugby was. It was all blood and sweats. <laughs>
Schools can help people aim for a better condition than the one they had during their childhood. It can provide a path of growth where alternatives are not seen, instilling purpose, accomplishment and self-esteem. And that is our aim with the presentation of sport at our school and also with the hosting of events such as this. That it will give us as fans of sport something to watch and enjoy, that it will inspire our youth to participate and to work hard for success. that you've reached to this point it's the first time in history okay um well first of all um, i'm really proud of the boys they put in um put in a lot of effort we had a lot of um, camp sessions and we came from a long from far away so i really like to just thank you as long as was, um, under 18 cheaters team because they really put their hearts and they put all the way to the finals. Um, as, as you can see, um, the hard work pays. Um, it's um, the first time for the Zimbabwe Sables team um, actually getting to the finals and they got to play South Africa, one of the big teams, uh, one of the big teams, um, the defending champions. Um, unfortunately, we lost, but um, I'd like to just say that I'm really proud of the boys for putting a lot of effort.
Till next Tuesday, it's adios. Bye.